Welcome back 614 right now. Charleston is quickly becoming a hotbed for entrepreneurs looking to launch a startup. All this week we are sharing the stories of success that make Charleston more than a vacation destination. I love this story. Sometimes mm -hmm. starting a business is all about luck mm -hmm. and an idea that just comes out of nowhere. And that's pretty much the way Southern Trapper got started. Dane Bly never had interest in working with leather. He was an investment banker, having studied economics at the College of Charleston. But his life changed course when he decided to become a mentor for a young boy. Southern Trapper was born because um, an elementary school student and I, through Be a Mentor, he, um, we decided that we'd like to sit down and, and make a wallet. Which Andy, his mentee, turned around and sold for $1 so that he could get a Snickers bar from the vending machine. So Bly launched Southern Trapper by using material that would otherwise be scrapped in the leather world. Here's one of them. Beaver tails. And then I found out that no one wanted beaver tail wallets. There wasn't a market for it. But like every story we've heard from a successful entrepreneur, Bly didn't give up on the idea. He just improved it so that his target market would be interested. Well, I decided that maybe if we made it bullet resistant, and fire resistant and RFID blocking, that would intrigue our target audience and allow us to hold their attention. It worked, and now Bly employs five different master leathermen, four of them here in the low country. He also has one in Missouri. He added to his sales force as well and his raw materials, not only using beaver tail, but alligator, snakes, and more. All of the products, handmade and made to order. Wow. Awesome? What a cool story. And the best part about it is uh, that thing has started a 529 college savings plan awesome. uh, for Andy, his mentee, who's 10 years old, by the way, still going to school, so he can't be a full time employee. But he said he really wants to. Uh, and I mean, think about it. He was his original salesman. I sure hope you enjoyed that first profit, that Snicker that bar. $1. He got, the, he got that <laughs> Snicker bar. He got his paycheck and his sales all at once. What a great story. Yeah. And, and so he makes them all by hand. Yeah. Well, he has those five master leathermen, uh -huh. but he actually gets his hands on it and does it himself as well. It's uh, it, it, I think the best part about it is he's using product that otherwise would be discarded, be thrown right. away, mm -hmm. uh, but he wants to make sure that every part of the animal is used. He went through the Harbor Accelerator, which is a program we're going to talk about tomorrow that teaches entrepreneurs the ins and outs of being successful and navigating the startup world and getting yourself ready to pitch to those investors who are the ones who get you going and send you on your way. Charleston is the place to be. I'm telling you, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a good spot if yes, you want to have is. a startup. Certainly.